what is up beautiful babes it is i sweet angel Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> listen check out this y'all i just did my own lash extensions okay if you have not seen that video go over and check it out it was my very first time doing this it did not turn out perfect i will be honest with you but i tell you what your girl is on to something she getting ready to be the lash extension queen uh-huh i'm going to be doing that so get ready for it uh lashes all the time <laughs> i used to be so like dreading putting on lashes y'all i'll tell you the truth a few years ago if you were part of the original beautiful bay brigade you would know but i progressed and i was able to like do the putting the lash glue on eyelash glue on my lid and then popping on the lashes made it so much simpler for me but i tell you what these lash extensions are their keeper their keeper not painful at all but again check out that video and we're going to do some makeup right now and just chit chat just a little bit because we can that's what we're gonna do okay ah uh, got a lot to talk about y'all i may seem in happy to do kind of fun spirits but today is a very turning point for me in my life and we're going to get into that right now you know i'd be trying to get away from my big ass raggedy mirror but this thing right here she shows the real me yeah she shows the real me and mm -hmm. yeah i can't get rid of her she's it because it's at like sometimes it's a glare on my face when i'm doing my makeup and i don't like that so uh-huh yeah she tells the real deal honey so how about i start off cleaning up my eyebrows because they need help too the eyebrows need help too you did the lashes now the eyebrows but back into what i was talking about today being such a pivotal moment in my life y'all 25 years ago I had my first baby 25 and yeah y'all know do the math I'm 60 so my entire grown-ass life mommy mode right my youngest is now 22 my oldest is 25 and in 2023 my most recent grandbaby was born. My granddaughter, Royal. Y'all know that's my heart. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. That's my heart. Because I was there when she came into this world. So there is just such a huge bond between that little one and me. Like, that's my baby. That's my, that's my baby. Okay? And y'all, her mommy decided to, like, hey, I'm getting ready to move. Oh, okay, can you a new place? You get enough? I'm moving out of Memphis. I'm like, oh my God. So, y'all know that was like, I tried to talk my daughter out of getting the hell out of Dodge. I tried to talk her out of it. And if you don't know my daughter, Maddie is her name. She has a channel here on YouTube, Maddie's Glam Life, and also The Glam Life, like Maddie's Glam Life 2 okay so y'all can check her out but she and i just over the years as she got older we just became i i'm not gonna lie we are best friends i'm telling you right now she's probably the one i talk to every freaking single day outside of my husband you know he and i are y'all know me my husband are yeah but as far as other people my daughter maddie she and i are just very very close and we talk two three times a day sometimes so I tell you what, when she decided to do that, I was like, oh my God, girl, this, that, the other. I tried to tell her everything about, oh gosh, that, that made it so unappealing. I wanted to make it like it was the worst thing ever. Anyway, she opted to do that. Anyway, she gone. She gone, girl. 
but I knew she had to get settled in and you know, she said, well, I got to get daycare set up and I got to, you know, make sure everything's good with my baby because that's so important. And I'm thinking like, okay, well, who's going to be keeping my grandbaby? And she's like, well, you know, I'm in the midst of, you know, working all that out. You know, of course her dad's there and da, 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 da. But I'm like, hold up. Y'all, mm -mm, mm -mm. I got to make sure it's right for my grandbaby. So I opted to keep little Royal here with me and hubby just to make sure that Maddie gets settled in and everything. So, obviously, you see I'm not working. I'm not working, but let me talk and work at the same time, okay? So, y'all, she's all settled in, and guess what? Baby Royal is getting ready to get the heck out of Dodge. I'm not sure when y'all be y'all will be seeing this, but I'm pretty sure she will probably already be in her new city okay but honey this day here whereas i know your kids have to grow up and grow out it's hard i'm going to miss that little one she has turned my life upside down honestly speaking i have not really been able to be focused on the things that i generally will focus on which i know i need to get back into that but honey it's been like, damn, this little one is getting ready to leave. She's getting ready to go. No more 2 a.m. parties here because uh, she had a weird schedule, I'm telling you. Baby Royal had a, like, night shift schedule, okay? She worked the night shift. And baby, girl, I, I'd be up late at night, but that was by choice. Not because I had to be, right? So, anyway... <sighs> it's going to be different for sure. But y'all, the other pivotal moment is that my husband and I, oh my gosh, we have been together for 20 years. And 20 years, you know, my children have been here or, you know, we've just had a house full. Okay, the house has been full. And now we are getting ready to be empty nesters. So it's like so much is transitioning at the same time. And I've stopped plucking my eyebrows because I'm running my damn mouth. And I can't do this and talk to y'all. I don't know why. But anywho, life-changing moments. I mean, life is lifing for me. Life is flipping around and doing its thing. And I am like, girl, woo, get ready for it. So, that means more than likely, knowing my husband, he going to drag me out of these streets a little bit more. Because <laughs> I swear, y'all, when we went to see Maddie and drop off the rest of her things, February the 5th, it is now March 19th. It's March 19th. I have not been anywhere. I haven't been anywhere. Except one thing. I went to rehearsal last week. That's when I first got out. Oh my gosh. I have been in this house. And I will not move. I will not go anywhere. I will work around the house. I love being home. I love home. And baby, I'm going to tell you. I'm about to be in the streets. And today is today the first day of spring as well. So, y'all. You know how I know it's the first day of spring? Let me tell you something. When I sat down here in the beauty room, a damn fly showed up. They know. They hatched. They asses have hatched. And y'all know I detest flies. I think there's nobody said, oh, I love flies. Flies just get on my damn nerves. Okay? But honey, they are out. But anywho, back to these pivotal moments in my life, child. They are here. And... It's time for me to rock and roll. Because first of all, y'all know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, I'm a blues singer. I'm a saxophonist. And I go on the road. Summer months, you know, spring kicks off. It's showtime. So I know I can't keep my little grandbaby. I know I can't. So I got, I had to get over it. I had to get over it. So I'm over it. I'm good. I know she needs to be with her mama. And that's that on that. So. It is what it is. I leave it alone. Because I know I can't be around here in 100% grandmama mode. Because, girl, I got to go twerk. Got to go twerk. We're cleaning brows and everything today, aren't we? Aren't we being smart? 
Hey, we being just on top of this stuff, girl. But anywho, she's packed up and ready to go. And we'll be making that trip on tomorrow, early in the morning. If my husband got anything to do with it, he want to get it done and get back to the house. And we will start our new chapter as empty nesters. <laughs> now, that is what I'm excited about. I have never, ever experienced this. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Me and hubby. Just me and hubby. Girl. He is so happy. He's like, oh my gosh. Now he loved my girls. He did. And us. But. <laughs> Y'all already know. Children makes the world go. <laughs> That's the truth. So, anywho, let me do my makeup, y'all, because your girl is finna be in these streets, and I gotta be looking cute, too. You feel what I'm saying? Do you feel what I'm saying? Gotta be looking cute. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and um, make this shit happen. We ain't playing with y'all. Not today. So... Tell me what y'all think about it. How was it? How was it when your children moved out and you were an empty nester? Have y'all experienced that? I don't know what the age group is that's watching this video, but baby, I'm like I'm beside myself. Not having to worry about what other people want to eat, what they want to do. Uh-uh. We are super excited. And I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who's happier, me or him, because child, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. I'm just going to throw on a little makeup. I'm not doing too much today, but I just want to look cute. First day of spring. Actually, I'm getting ready to go to rehearsal too, so. Ha! I got a reason to look halfway decent. Today, skin is trying to get back to herself. Y'all, I do IPL hair removal. And if you didn't know, it don't take care of gray hair. So I do have a couple little strings I need to handle before I get in these streets. I don't want y'all thinking I, I'm, I'm old or anything. Okay. I don't need y'all thinking nothing about me. But cuteness. You heard me. Did you heard me? Let me let that simmer for a second. And let me go get these hairs off this chinny chin chin cause girl I be done forgot them and I be upset with myself perfect now honey let's get to the makeup the makeup alright brush these brows out cause that ain't gonna work Yes, indeed. So, I am, again, I'm happy. Overly excited. Um, yes, I'm going to miss my, my two baby girls, my youngest and the baby. But, uh, I'm ready to live some life now, honey. While I got some life in me. If y'all know what I'm saying, I am ready to do this now. Yes, just turned 60. I really didn't do a big celebration this year. I had planned to. But like I said, with life in a little bit of a disarray, I couldn't at the time just have my daughter thinking that, oh my gosh, my baby is there. What am I going to do? I need to get her and, you know, put her in any kind of a mindset that, oh my gosh, I need to get my baby right away. So I forego the fun. And do what I had to do to make sure my baby girl, baby, is all right. That's what you do when you're family. Now, when you family, you're going to make sure everybody okay. And that's how we roll around these parts. Around these parts, uh-huh. Yes. If you're worthy of that kind of attention from us, 
we gonna make sure it's all right yes yes and yes so back to this makeup y'all it's been a minute since i filmed makeup and y'all know i be disappearing off the camera so keep looking now keep looking because she gonna change and you ain't gonna see it I cannot go without this mirror right here. I be trying. I did. I tried to get that other one and work with it, but she ain't. She ain't helping me with the stink. I cannot do her and make up. So. We had to go for what we know. Did I put too much of an arch on that one? I kind of did, but we ain't going to say nothing. If we don't say nothing, ain't nobody going to say nothing. They ain't going to tell you your eyebrows jacked up. They'll tell you when they're looking good, but they ain't going to say nothing when them things looking like bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> I swear they ain't. Ain't going to say nothing to ya. Girl. Yeah, she just gonna do a little light beat today. And keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. I need to be buying me some foundation somewhere because I swear I am out of my very favorite one, my most favorite one, and that is the, uh, what is it? Nick's Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I love this one. Yes, I do. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in Classic Tan. She gone. And I, I don't even want to throw away. I have it there actually because I didn't want to forget my shade. And every time I sit down here, that's when I think about, okay, I forgot I need some foundation. Well, I have foundation. I have lots of foundations, but that's just my favorite one. I like to rock. So, get this blended in here. And where's baby roll now? She is actually asleep. She actually woke up early today, uh, surprisingly. She woke up, played for about an hour or two, and went back to sleep around 10-ish. So, she probably be getting up. In a moment though because it's getting a little bit late computer what time is it the time is 3:08 p.m yeah she should be getting up <laughs> but i ain't gonna make her actually i just gave her a bottle and she went back to sleep did and did next mm -hmm. I don't really do a lot of concealer under the eye, but I'm just doing something today just because I can. And what, and what about it? <laughs> what about it? What you gonna do about it? Say nothing, cause we don't care. Girl, tell me about it. So y'all, if y'all love this robe, I got it from Amazon. And I, I have to let y'all in a little secret. I got a lot of <laughs> I went ham on these robes. I love them so much. The crazy part is they're actually men's robes. So <laughs> I'm just over this woman thing with these crazy little pockets that stick out on the side. These have the flat pockets right in front that you know how the guys have their clothes. I like that. I like that a whole heck of a lot more. But why they do the women wrong, I don't know. I don't know why they do us wrong. Why they have us looking crazy with this stupid little pocket and things that's not functional. We want to be cute, but we want to have, you know, something that's functioning properly. Indeed. Yeah. Shit, I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing, don't I? <laughs> and don't. And don't at all. But yeah, I'm excited to see uh, my daughter. It's been a minute. <laughs> like I said, since the beginning of February, it's now March. I've turned 60, all kind of stuff, right? And 
we're going to switch on there and try to get back at a decent hour. Take our time. It'll be just me and hubby now. <laughs> going to take our time. We don't have to rush for no reason or nobody. Yes. Amazing. This is life. This is life. Woo chow. This is life as we know it. So, and now, like I said, this is a light, easy beat. I'm just going to do some bronzing up, and hell, I'll probably be finished with this little tidbit. Uh, I will try to link all of my makeup products that I'm using down below, but y'all know your girl be like tripping with the makeup because my stuff sometimes don't even be available no more. <laughs> so what they tell you is old. It's old. Oldie but goodies. Mm -hmm. Oldie but goodies up in here. But it works for me. Unless you tell me this stuff turns poisonous after uh, 10 years. I'm going to keep my makeup. I've given away so much makeup though through the years. And they probably still got it too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they probably still got it. <laughs> Absolutely. And now I'm going to use this L'Oreal. L'Oreal, this is in, this is a super blendable powder in, what is it? What is it? What's the cup? It's in cocoa. Something like that. Cocoa. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll use this brush right here and put it on my eyelids. Cause he's cute. He's cute like that. I don't know how long these lashes are going to last, but I will definitely keep y'all posted. Most people say about four to five days. So we're going to see. We go see, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cute. So let's do some bronzing up. So I'm gonna look like an egg, and I do. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And the other thing I need to get me is some more of the real technique sponges, beauty sponges, because. I don't know where my other one is. When I moved everything in here, I have not have not seen it at all. Like, where's she at? Where's she go? Don't you love it anymore? <laughs> where's she at? Where's she go? I am going to like put some liner under my eyelids, and I'm tight lining too. Let me go ahead and do that. Because y'all know I was scared putting these things on. I was. Ooh, I need to sharpen you. Yes, I do. Sharpen that down. Got to get baby roll. Baby roll dressed today. We had a little cold snap. I know most everybody probably experienced that. But uh, it's a little chilly last night. So... Mad Dobbins, what you doing? I'm uh, leaving because I got to go to Rodeo's daycare and get paperwork to fill out. Oh, yeah. I see. So she must have known you was calling. What happened? I don't know. I think I hear it. I think I hear her. I was like, let me go ahead and run up there because tomorrow I'm going to go. Girl, I'm skiing. I'm going to up and leave take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams bigger picture i could see if i just close my eyes have the foresight to believe time don't move backwards it speeds to the future fearlessly charging for
think I finished the makeup look but since that time I have been to rehearsal got back home ate dinner gave baby royal her bath done fix me some tea and I was gonna go to bed and I'm like wait a minute I ain't even say bye to my beautiful babes they don't even know what happened to me y'all child child oh, maybe old people don't belong on YouTube because this crazy but I'm here. I'm back. I'm good. Makeup look was cute. Was cute. Lipstick all off and everything now. But we are getting ready to wind it down. Baby Royal is in her bed getting ready to make that journey in the morning. Yes. And it's exciting times. You know, I talked to her mom today. She is so freaking, freaking excited. What? Y'all don't even know how excited that mama is. She's real excited. And I don't blame her. Oh my God. I know she about to jump out of her pants right now. Not even knowing like, whoo. She don't even know. She don't even know how wonderful it is to have this little joy in her life. But she getting ready to find out. <laughs> that baby ready to see her mama too. I know she's been missing her. So much. I'm just putting up my mess, y'all. Excuse me. Because I can't get up in the morning and look at this stuff at all. No. No. But anywho, put up all my lash stuff. Y'all did my lashes, y'all. See that? Check that video out, okay? Check it out. And see what you see, what you see, girl. Because this is my new jam. These lashes are the bomb. I don't even feel them. That's the crazy part. When I thought about people putting lashes on, I thought they were attaching them to their like under eye, like, but it's actually attached to the lash, the lashes. Anyway, y'all don't understand till you do it. And I promise you, you're going to be like, girl, this was so easy. I should have been doing this a long time ago. Yeah, I say the same, but I just didn't want to venture into it because I thought it was going to be like something treacherous. Okay. But anyway, I'm putting up all of my stuff from, I keep my little lash kit stuff all in this little bag. I got this bag from Iconi Beauty. They sent over some amazing bath stuff. You know, all the things that I said I was going to be doing, 
since I'm an empty nester, I'll be able to do them. You know, like I told y'all, I'm going to miss my little grand. I am. But baby, baby, this young 60-year-old grandmama got some things on the agenda that she's going to be doing a lot of, for sure. But, hell, I don't even need these no more. I don't even need them no more. Because I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Y'all gonna see. I ain't going back to that. Mm -mm. That's too much like work. And I see why they stay on so well. Because like I said, they're attached to the lashes instead of the actual, actual skin. Okay. And that skin is what holds the moisture because you're crying, you're sweating. I believe these are going to work for me. I believe so. But I think this is all I'm going to pick up tonight. I don't need those anymore. But that's it. I am out of here. I'm going to bid y'all farewell for right now. I guess I could just hang these lash, this lash kit stuff over here. But child, I'm going to make this journey tomorrow. And hold on, that sounded like... No, there was nothing in there. Because I got all my earrings. Yeah, I got all my earrings out of there. But that is it. And, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about these little things. This will help my eyeglasses stay on a whole lot better. For sure. But that's it, y'all. Tomorrow, officially, an empty nester. Me and hubby are, <clears throat> girl, I ain't going to even tell you. I ain't going to even tell you what it feels like. This is crazy. Y'all, excuse me. I look, I just put on my little gown. I still have my bra on, but I'm out of here. We are going to get in this bed so I can get some rest because I know Baby Royal, she be tripping about 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. You never know what she going to be doing, whether she going to be asleep or whether she going to be woke. So I'm going to get my rest and get in as much as I can tomorrow. We don't have anybody coming to, you know, roll with us to help offload the stuff. So more than likely, Maddie, um, uh, Roll's dad was, will probably be there to help. I think he's supposed to be there. So, and you know, cause I can't do the steps. Mike can't do the steps. We just bringing it, okay? And I'm gonna give Baby Roll all them kisses that I just know I'm gonna be missing over the next few months or so and that's going to be it and we will come back with our regularly scheduled programming i will in fact still have videos blast from the past coming to you but i will be bringing some more content a little bit different so i want y'all to stick and stay with me bear with me through this process and it's been a journey for me and we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about this journey y'all because things went woo crazy uh, as far as my YouTube stuff is concerned but you know it's all good your girl is happy and I know I know that my beautiful baby's gonna stick with me cuz y'all coming through y'all coming through I had three over 300 new subscribers in the last 28 days so that is good that is good for a up-and-coming channel so I know y'all in here I really project as it's going we gonna have 10,000 subscribers by the end of May or June. I'm serious. I'm serious because y'all blessing me. Y'all again, you are blessing me. And I love y'all for that. But anyway, I'm out of here because I am tired. It is almost 11 p.m. And I know I got to get up in the morning because we're going to be hitting the road 7 between 7 and 8 o'clock. We're getting there. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow or the next day or the next day. If I miss a day, y'all know what I'm up to. But I might pop in with a live. You never know. So be on the lookout. I'll see y'all. And thank you so much for your support. And make sure you tell everybody where you're hanging out at right here. So please share me with your world. I'll see y'all. Even on a bad day. Yeah.
so I could be one of the greats on a big stage. 